two years ago I did a, a video about um, night vision and it was a very popular video. I did a few videos about night vision, but one of them, I was talking about the PVS-14, about how I liked it um, for you know the average citizen and how crucial I thought, I thought night vision was. And so the biggest question was, you know, people ask, like I got emailed, and still to this day I get emailed that says, you know, how can I get budget night vision? So after that video, um, I sought out, it was like maybe a year and a half ago, I sought out some budget night vision. Now I had tried some in the past, it was really crappy, but I sought out to look for some, and, and I purchased some, like I said, a, a year and a half ago. And so I got it in, didn't even open the box, I actually just sat it down in the shop and on, on a table and planned on doing the video within a few weeks. And then lo and behold, I guess someone moved it and it got moved again, it got moved again, moved again. And then the next thing I know, it's in the back corner. So the other day I was actually cleaning up some stuff in, in, in the shop and I found the night vision that I, I bought like a year and a half ago, two years ago. Okay the Commander NV100. Now this is $300 night vision and we're gonna compare it to a PVS-14 which is $3,000 night vision. So we're gonna go against monocular, against monocular because the Commander NV100 is a monocular and then the PVS-14 is obviously a monocular, you know. I also own and have owned for a few years uh, duels as well and you know, you can hear my thoughts on duels. They're, I mean, they're great. They're, they're great, but you're looking at eight to $10,000 investment on dual night vision. Is it practical for most people? No, unless you have the uh, you know extra income, I would never recommend doing it. And most of the time, if I was in some kind of situation, I would probably want to run a monocular. If I was an individual by myself in some kind of grid down scenario or uh, civil war or a, a invasion, because with a monocular, I still have one eye open to see if I'm in, in I get inside a white light I'm exposing myself. I can also see what everyone else sees without night vision at the same time. So I think there's a big, a huge benefit to the monocular as an individual. You know, like I said, binos are, are great. Um, I own them, you know, so you have people that don't own them and say, you know, they're, they're better. Uh, PVS 14 is better because they can't afford them. They're trying to justify the purchase. I have both. And you hear me telling you, I would be very happy just to run PVS-14, and that's what I probably would run as an individual over duels. Duels is great if you got a team of people because you got other people with situational awareness around you at the same time, right? That's why in the military, special operations are running duels because they have other guys around them, but, but they did run uh, PVS-14s before, so just because of the technology. All right, guys, let's talk about the 300 338 versus the $3,100 night vision. So this is made by One Leaf um, and it's digital night vision, whereas this is analog. Man, this is real time. What you see is what you get. There's a little bit of a delay on here. Very, very minimal. Very minimal from a lot that I've tried. You know, obviously it's cheap, which is a, a, a pro, right? This one can record, right? So you can record, you can take uh, photos with it. You cannot do that with a PBS 14. Um, so that's phenomenal. You can make your scope essentially a night vision scope with this. You can also do that with this. You can mount this to a weapon as well. Um, this isn't magnified like a night vision scope. Like a lot of people buy night vision scopes for coyote hunting and stuff like that. This is not magnified. So you put it on magnification, which is great because you may not want magnification. You may want, you know, seeing, uh, you know, if you're like trying to essentially um, scope an area, you're pulling security or something like that and using this as a handheld device, as monocular. So you can essentially use this with or without magnification if you attach it to an optic or not, right? Or scope, I should say. So it can be used as a handheld quickly and then quickly clipped on the rifle with this collar here. So this collar actually stays on the rifle. You can twist and clip it onto a rifle very quickly. So you can turn this uh, from, uh, you know, uh, essentially a handheld where you're pulling security. If you see something, you can put it on an optic. That's a great characteristic of, of having one of these. Some of the cons about this is that you can't walk with it. That's the benefit of having night vision, in my opinion, is I can move. I can move quickly. I see things real-time analog and I can move. 
this is digital you got a little bit of delay and you can't walk with it because it doesn't attach to a helmet right so you, you don't have a, a helmet attachment right so you can't attach that you can attach the pbs 14 you can attach like binos here to a helmet and obviously that's a huge benefit being able to, able to move being stationary and static somewhere is not cool unless you're pulling security or you're designated marksman or something like that so Again, the con, the con, other con is that this, this is digital, whereas this is analog, so you got that minimal, but still you have a lag. And this is not as crisp as true night vision here. Now this is Gen 3 PBS 14 white phosphor auto gate, so you're not, you're not going to get blinded whenever you walk into a, a room lit up and all that sort of stuff. It's not going to damage the night vision. This is the new stuff. This is the new type stuff. My duels are the same way. And I would always recommend white phosphor. Go white phosphor. You have less eye fatigue and those sort of things. Now, this is like a black and white. You can also get color, watch, see color with this $300 unit here. It has an IR eliminator here, which you have to use one for this. And I'm going to show a video of both without using IR eliminator and with. It makes a huge difference. So having that IR eliminator is amazing on the device. They're about the same weight. It's negligible in my opinion. So this one has a four to 24 value magnification, one to three digital zoom, 12 by 80, 1280 by 960 display resolution. The IR power of this is 6,000 NW. It has, again, like I said before, video and photo capabilities. IR detection range of 300 meters. It comes with its own micro SD card here. As you can see there, there's a micro SD card for video and photo. The battery life on this is six hours. It has a built-in microphone. You can record audio as well. It comes with three different clamp collars here, so for different various uh, scopes you have. It has a rechargeable 18650 battery, so you have the recharging cable and all that stuff that you can attach. You can attach this directly to a computer as well and download the video, or you can take it out, whatever you want to do. And again, the night vision is black and white. It also has color recording as well. There's a focus ring here at the bottom, so you can focus this just like you do with the PBS 14. Okay, so the uses for this, I would say, is that you know, obviously, you can private investigative work because you're you're able to record, um, pulling security, night hunting, um, you know, coyotes, feral hogs, things like that. And just talking about some of the benefits of the PBS 14. All right, so I mounted it to the helmet, the PVS-14 here, so you can see that. Helmet mount. Yep. So the benefits of this is as uh, white phosphor Gen 3, like I said, 40 degree field of view, vision, field of view, and, and that's better than the um, $300 gig there. Analog, real time, 40 hour battery life with a double A battery, which is great. So 40 freaking hours versus six you can run this thing handheld this pbs 14 handheld helmet mounted like you see here so i can move shoot move and communicate this also can be weapon mounted just like this so you can run this people do run this and you can shoot and move and communicate with this on a helmet with your ar-15 with an ir laser mounted that's how i do it now i've got videos showing how to do that i'll post up here post links to all these videos so you can see you can see the original pbs 14 video as well so shoot, move, communicate. I can run on a weapon. I can run a handheld. I can do security. I can tuck it away in a jacket. You know, if I'm pulling security or wanting to observe something, maybe it's a greenhouse scenario. I'm trying to collect intel, gather intelligence, all those sort of things, right? I don't have to walk around looking through a scope as I would with this uh, gig here, the one leaf. I also have a thermal clip on for this. Actually, it's on, you can see the attachment there. I run it on my dual. So a thermal clip on. So not only do I have the ability to see night vision, but for a few, you know, I think another three or four thousand dollars, my clip on is, I can see duels with thermal imaging. So night vision and thermal imaging, which is the best. You, you, no one can hide from you at that point. You own the you own the night in that situation. One big thing about this is you have to adjust this manually, like a DSLR camera. It'll get out of focus, right? So you have to adjust it, you know. And obviously the cost three thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. You know, you ask mama. To ask her for three thousand dollars for night vision she's going to say what in the hell do you need night vision for and then when you try to explain it to her she's going to think you're crazy you know 
So, yeah, so that versus $300. So, other thing is this is uh, made by my friends over there at U.S. Night Vision. Nope, I'm not paid by them. Don't don't get any, any benefit. I just like the guy. He's a Christian. He's a uh, veteran. Great man. You purchase from them. I definitely highly recommend these guys, U.S. Night Vision there. Um, this is made in the USA. This is made in China. 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 But again, I buy all my... And you can ask them, call them and ask them. I buy all my night vision. These are not gifted. I buy these. I would never take anything that expensive from anyone. For my U.S. night vision. So I definitely recommend if you want real night vision, get that. Now, if you can't afford it, well, who is this for? Someone who can't afford. There's no way possible I can afford these real night vision, you know. And this is RNV, RNVG, by the way. I like these because they're metal body. But if you can't afford it, there's no way possible. But you need to be able to see in the dark. This is it. 300 bucks. You got something you can tuck away in your bug out bag, your vehicle, carry around with you, look through it. You can mount it onto a LPVO on your AR-15. So you have a lot of capability here. You can film night vision if you want to go do filming. You're, you're, you're filming videos for YouTube or Instagram, something like that. As I will say, the night vision video we filmed, I had to buy a special camera, Sony, that cost me $5,000 just to film that video for shooting with night vision. Literally, one video cost me five thousand dollars just to get the camera. I could have bought this gig if I'd have known it existed and filmed it shooting with night vision. So, guys, the thing is, is that if there's no way possible for you to afford this, total out of your price range, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. And uh, but you want the ability to be able to see at night. This is it. This is it. Three hundred dollars. You can't beat it. And again, I bought this. this is, I'm not getting paid for it. I'm going to put the link up for uh, you to purchase one of these if you want to do that. And hell, maybe you got a PBS 14. Maybe you want something you want to throw away. You want something else to have in your bag. You want something to be able to carry around. You want something that you can film with. You can record with. You can take photos with at night. You want something that you can attach to your magnification, right? So that's the thing. It's, it's, it's uh, a force multiplier. Obviously people say, some people say that you don't need night vision. Those people are people that can't afford night vision because anyone who has spent any time in the military, there's a reason why in the military we use night vision, right? Because fighting happens at night too, right? It doesn't, it doesn't just happen during daytime. And most of the time it happens at night. So I'm going to show, show two pieces of video here, guys. One of the one leaf right and, and you're gonna see the video is a little a little sketchy because it, it, it's hanging the the when you're looking through the binocular it looks way better than that but I guess the recording it's just kind of it just looks kind of sketchy it's, it, I promise you the when you're looking through the night vision it looks much clearer and better than this or probably this it's not it's not doesn't look clear it looks the same it's just it just moves better because um, the video hangs up for some reason so it looks good for three hundred dollars. This video looks amazing, right? Now the PBS fourteen, I had to use my cell phone, and you can get mounts and things like that for for PBS fourteen to run cell phones with. If that's something you want to do, if you want to use your PBS fourteen to uh, film, you can also get connections to cameras like DSLRs as, as well. I just don't do that because I don't have a reason to. I, I was an idiot and bought the five thousand dollar freaking Sony to use for one video, one video. Um, anyway. But the PBS 14, obviously you can see it's very crisp, real time, looks great, no eye fatigue, or very minimal comparatively to the green phosphor and to the one leaf. You're gonna get eye fatigue with that thing. So it looks phenomenal, but you'll notice on the, the, the first clip I'm gonna play here is that this is without the IR eliminator. So you, you, I was in a, in a room right now, if I was out in getting moonlight, it would be much brighter. But then when you see I crank on the IR Illuminator, which is attached to a, a rifle, it, it blows up. It's like I'm almost in daytime, but everything's just black and white, you know. Anyhow, again, guys, this is something I, I, I think you need. You need night vision. You need to be able to see in the dark. You know, it's 2023. Um, and obviously, there's a lot of other ways to do that. You can home security cameras and things like that. But something where you can be on the move and you can be able to see as you go. I think it's just... It's just truly a force multiplier in, in the modern day, right? And knowing how to shoot in the dark with night vision is very important. Not just buying night vision, but actually get, getting trained on how to use this in the dark 
and employing your firearm is serious, right? Even transitioning to a pistol uh, with, with this, right? IR lasers make that much simpler, but you also need to buy the IR laser. You need to sight it in just like you would a scope and those sort of things. So anyhow, guys, let me know. Sorry it took so long to try to find some night vision. I had it, but it got tucked away somewhere else. But guys, let me know your comments, your thoughts below. Remember to stay frosty, stay strapped, stay dangerous. Take care.